So in Acts 6, the early church has a major problem, a major issue they're trying to resolve. The problem is that they have many widows in the community that are not being taken care of. And so while the apostles are out preaching and teaching and praying with people, they realize that this is something that they need to resolve, that they need to help these widows in need. So they're trying to decide, like, should they stop going out, teaching, preaching, and praying with people? And should they just focus on the need of these widows? Or should they keep preaching and teaching and praying and not focus on the widows at all and their needs? They're trying to figure this out. And they decide that it's a both and. That they need to continue to go out and teach and preach and pray with people, but they also need to care for these widows in need. For them, it was a both and. So what they do is they they commission a new group of apostles to help care for these widows. And they call them deacons. So they take these seven new deacons, and deacon comes from the word diakonia, which means to works of service or to minister to. And they take these deacons and they make sure that they are caring for those widows in need. So it's a both and. The apostles decide when when charged with this problem, this issue, that it's a both and, that they must go out and preach and teach and pray, and they must also care for those in need. Now this is neat because this passage lines up really well with Methodist theology. And in Methodist theology, there's two ways to to help practically live out your faith. And the first is called personal holiness. Now, personal holiness are things like reading the Bible and praying and and finding time to to teach and preach and to learn together through Scripture. There's these, these personal ways to learn more about following Jesus. But then there's also social holiness. And social holiness is is a way for us to live out those ways of following Jesus to help people in need. It's to confront the big social issues of the day and help people and minister to people who are in need. So in Methodist theology, it's also a both and. You're going out there, you're, you're teaching, you're preaching, you're praying with people, you're doing these things in your own life, in your own devotion to God, but it's also social holiness as well. You're going out there and helping people in need and outreaching and ministering to people. It's a both and. Now, the early church was born in this tight space between faith and fear. And the apostles decided that this was going to be a space of both and. They were going to always go out sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with others, and they were also going to help those in need. And that is the life that we are called to as well, to be people who give testimony by sharing the good news in our lives, by teaching and preaching and praying with people. But we are also called to minister to those in need. Our lives are supposed to be a both and. And these early apostles are doing that very thing. So may you live a life that has personal holiness and social holiness. May you live a life that's a both and where you are preaching and teaching and sharing the good news and you are helping those in need. And may that life be the life that you have always been meant to live, following Jesus, who the early church is showing us how to follow him in this particular way, the both and. Amen.